Hi, this is Jason Stratton and my partner, Sophia Clopas. And we are the Clopas Stratton team of Berkshire Hathaway. So Sophia, people going into a house or contacting some directly always thinks that they're gonna be getting a better price because they don't have a buyer's broker. And what they don't understand is that commission has already been negotiated. So that's out the window. So why should a person use a buyer's broker to get the best possible price? How do you look at the comps to establish what value is? Well, you really have to deep dive as a buyer's broker, which is a different sort of using a different way to comp out properties than you do as a listing agent. As a listing agent, you generally grasp for the highest price and you also look for the most recent comps as well. So that is a common thread. But when you're looking for comps for a buyer, you're really diving deep into the construction and deep into the materials and deep into how long the other properties were on the market. And you use market time along with the construction, the neighborhood, the street, the little idiosyncrasies that a broker knows that most buyers don't know. There are some buyers that are super educated and they get a lot of that, but this is our full-time job. This is all we do. So being able to really break the comps down in a, in a manner that a buyer won't, we have a lot more access to things. So I think that is really an important part of what we're doing with comps. I love how you hit that the listing broker is looking for the highest price. Correct, always. And as a buyer's broker, we're looking for the, for the lowest, lowest price. price. So there yeah. is a conflict there if you're coming to- Representing both yes, sides absolutely. of the deal, or actually representing nobody. When <laughs> you worse. are a dual agent, you represent nobody. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>